All right, part two, all in. The final mission. So I've distracted Kerrigan once, or killed her once. Mm -hmm. How many times do you have to kill her? I think three. Three times, that's it? Maybe four. Well, the fourth time, the fourth time is when you're, you're at like 90 something percent, and so you just stop playing and just watch. Yeah. Yes, that's important to know. When you get to 100%, it ends. So if you're getting overrun, just protect that thing in the middle, and that's all that matters. Yeah. And also, as far as saving, do it often because a lot of times. You like quick saves? Yeah. Thanks. You'll miss a Broodlord and then realize you hadn't saved for like 15 minutes. Yeah. And like two minutes ago, you were in perfect shape, and you would have, if you would have sent some Vikings over, you would be mm -hmm. fine. Exactly. And those freaking. I mean, they're, you're getting attacked from so many sides. Normally, you can just hit spacebar to jump to the most recent message. Mm -hmm. If you're getting hit by so many places, it's easier than this. Yeah. Sir, I'm picking up and sometimes you'll look and not even notice that the area, like, oh yeah, oh that area's getting hurt. Nope, looks fine. Must have been a minute ago. Mm -hmm. And or the like, the siege tanks are destroying the the broodlings like super quick. Mm -hmm. So not only are the your turrets getting damaged by the broodlings. Getting damage by the splash damage from the siege tank. Yeah. Which is really, really frustrating. Yeah. I, I don't think there's any way you can totally mine out all the minerals there. Not in the time. I built a bunch of extra SCVs. I kept turning out SCVs towards the beginning. Just so you'd have them for repairing and building? Yeah, well, I, I wanted to be gathering minerals as fast as possible, and I knew that I was going to be taking a lot of them off to build more buildings mm. and repairing and stuff like that, so I just kept churning them out Thanks. for like the first half, basically. And, and then I got to the point where I couldn't build more units, so I quit um, building them. And I, I, probably could have, I probably should have sent a bunch of them out into the fray to get killed just to have some more resources. Or uh, food units, I yeah. Guess. Yeah, but it worked out all right for me. Yeah. I massed Vikings as well. I had, uh, by probably about 70%, I had two solid 16 to 20 unit armies of Vikings. One on the left side and one on the right side. Yeah, you definitely, I think, had more than me. More Vikings? Yeah, but I had more siege tanks. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I definitely used, I dropped the Vikings a couple times to help, or at, at least once, to damage her, to kill her. Yeah. As soon as I uh, see her, I'm like, alright, Vikings, you're more useful to me for killing Blue Lords. Mm -hmm. And I'll just let the siege tanks and whoever else fight you. Mm -hmm. So many good games. Oh, and she can, like, see up the hill, lift up the siege tank, and then oh. smash it. And you're like, God, it sucks. Gee, golly. She's cheating. She shouldn't be able to see up that hill. Yep. Who does she think she is? The Queen of Blades? Oh, wait. That's a terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a nice little cliff on the left as well that uh, putting one or two siege tanks up there will be very helpful. You just got to be careful uh, that they don't get hit by, hit by Broodlords because that's a very susceptible spot for that. Actually, anywhere is a susceptible spot for Broodlords. Yeah. You know what? Would have been a really good idea. Oh, something I'm curious about testing. If you put a Viking, like there's, you know, those extreme left and right points of the base. Mm -hmm. you, I, I wonder if you put a Viking at the, like, put him at a whole position on top of the extremes of your base where you have missile turrets. Mm -hmm. Will they will they be able to attack? A broodlord that's attacking a missile turret that's out of the missile turret's range. Maybe because I Cause added the, the Viking yeah, range. With the Viking range, with the plus two air Viking range, that's huge. Yeah, that'd be a good test, and it would make it a lot easier. Oh yeah, absolutely. Or, like put two or three of them on the extreme points of your base. Yeah, or just put one Viking over every missile turret you build. Oh yeah, that definitely work. I think it would work. Yeah, uh, it'd be cool if it worked. Yes, that would be very helpful. So you do need to build, like, you need to have a little defense in your base just because there's these, like, drop ships. Yeah, the drop boxes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you right now that my strategy of using bunkers to block off the entrances is a good one. Is a very good one. Like, it seems like any moment now they're going to get into your base. I mean, they are in your base. But when, when you can keep them at the front, outside of the front door, pelting them with you know, siege tanks and all that. Yeah. I don't know. It just seems to be more effective. No, I definitely... Like, that's the one thing I took away from watching you play, mm -hmm. is I should have been using bunkers. Mm -hmm. Even though mine don't have the guns. Oh, really? Gotcha. Can't you tell? <laughs> Not from this tiny screen. I mean, we're looking at a very much smaller version yeah, than the yeah. normal thing. Yeah. But they look so different when they have guns. Not really. Yeah, they have a big-ass gun on top. <laughs> well, I haven't even looked that close. Oh. I think we both also bought the the health upgrade for the bunkers as well that adds I think another 150 arm uh, health to it that's what I bought you bought guns I bought both nope they're no? mutually exclusive oh I thought that was a, a, an upgrade at the armory oh. not a research upgrade there might be one at the armory but in addition mine's called a fortified bunker mm -hmm. and it has extra health oh yours has a gun on top I thought the I thought that was one I bought because I'm because we also have we both have the six people in the bunker versus yeah. four yeah which I'm pretty sure we purchased it at the armory not the reason right no the uh, the gun on top and the fortified bunker is definitely a either or scenario oh really yeah oh. Well then, what about the thing that um, Sir, buildings put themselves out? That like, is on fire and like heal themselves. Purchased at the person. armory. Oh okay, yeah, I have that too. Yeah, I've got all that. those combined, so they don't burn to death. Yeah, that's so helpful. Oh yeah, every building or no, oh, yeah. or, or is that just bunkers? Do every do building. missile turrets do that? Yeah, they do. Oh, okay, uh, that yeah. If you're looking at the armory. Mm -hmm. The one that says buildings, yes. you want to have every one of those things purchased. Yes, those are very helpful. And the SCV one, where they repair twice as That's fast. under buildings. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's unbelievably helpful for this. So we talked about this before, like a really annoying thing when SCVs get stuck in the corner when they are done building. Oh, yeah, I've got like three SCVs so that guys can watch this. Yeah. Uh, on that top platform, I don't like tuck the missile turrets in super close like I have like you've been um, I just kind of place them not like in a perfect row but and not 100% like randomly but kind of all over the place on that top but space like, walking space oh yeah like well, uh, yes I, I left walking space between all of them so that the SUVs could go and repair all of them and uh, so they don't get stuck which is just frustrating more than anything oh yeah Do you at least call in the hero like Viking? No, I never think to. Oh wow! I never think to. I, I think I did for the very first one, mm -hmm. but for that second one after the recharge and all that, I never do. I, I, I just never think to. I'm, I'm more used to the multiplayer. Oh uh, yeah. Like I, I don't really like using. There's no hero. <laughs> right. Like, I don't like using non-multiplayer units. Oh, so uh, there's the Leviathan. I, yeah. We gotta kill that thing. Yes. Go out of your way. Move your dudes at him. So yeah, I let him just chill there um, on one playthrough because I thought, oh, he's not really doing anything. Oh, he is. I know. It's tentacle gravy. Yeah. He's got this crazy ground attack where he has like these tentacles. Look at that. He's like, so I only have like a row plus two, oh. and I'm able to do some pretty good damage. Oh yeah, I did a ton of damage to him. Or I had. A lot more Vikings than you did. Mm hmm. It worked out pretty well. Yeah, 